Hey, you know this orange generate button you've clicked a million times? Well, if you right click it, you can generate forever. Yeah, that's been there the whole time. Stable Diffusion has so many hidden settings like that. So that is what this video is about, is showing them all to you. So you don't have to go and crawl the entire internet searching for them like I did. I did that for you, you're welcome. This right click to generate forever, once you do it, it literally just keeps generating photos over and over and over again. Really amazing once you've honed in on a good prompt and you just want to get a whole bunch of different uh, options to choose from. Once you're done, you have to right click and hit cancel forever. Interrupt just interrupts that one generation or skips it. So you got to right click and cancel generate forever. I especially like using this while also upscaling the image with high res fix. That way I can upscale it by 2x or, or whatever I want, want to do. And then when I get back to my computer, I've got fully finished, fully upscaled images. Tip number two is an extension that is basically should be built into automatic 11.11, but is not. It is this uh, aspect ratio picker. So it basically lets you set your width or your height and then quickly move it to whatever aspect ratio you want. So it will take the width and use that and adjust the height accordingly to fit that 16 by nine aspect ratio or whatever you wanna choose here. To install this, just go to the extensions tab, go to available, hit load from, search for aspect ratio. And there are two of these. I found the aspect ratio helper to be much better than the selector. This one had some uh, bugs in it. So go for aspect ratio helper, hit installed. And then if you go to installed, make sure it's checked here, apply and restart your UI. And then you should have these options. You can also just lock the aspect ratio. And if you change the width, it will change the height keeping the same aspect ratio. And if you wanna customize what you see here, just go to settings, go to aspect ratio helper, and then change what's in this box to whichever you prefer. Next up is another extension called Image Browser. Install it the same way as the previous one, and it will give you this new tab called Image Browser. This is just a recreation of your outputs folder, but with some extra functionality here. What I can do is click into an image and then there's a lot of things I can do here. First of all, I could give it a ranking. If I'm you know, totally happy with this image, I give it a five. And then later on, as I'm browsing through images, I can filter by the ranking that I've set. Of course, I can see all the generation info. I can delete files from here and I can move them to favorites. Once it's in your favorites, it jumps over to this tab and you gotta give it a little refresh and then you'll start to see your favorites populate in here. What's extra cool about this is if you have a big library of images here, you can search via the prompt. So if I've got a ton of images, I can go to this exif keyword search, type in this case, kitten, give it a search, and then it will just show me images that have that keyword in the prompt. There are separate tabs for text to image, image to image, and then the grids for those images. And of course, you also have the same options here to send to text to image, image to image, in paint or extras. So overall, it's just a much more powerful, you know, image browser, file browser um, than you would get just looking at files in Windows. To me, it's a no-brainer extension. Go get it. Next up is just a website that you can use to help you find more words to use in your prompts. It's called wordstouse.com. It functions somewhat like a thesaurus, but instead of giving you like a, a word that is means the same thing as the word you give it, it gives you more words that are sort of in that subject matter. So you can search for specific words here or browse categories. If we go to arts and entertainment and art, and then go to art styles and movements, you have all kinds of uh, different art styles you can use here in your prompts. There are negatives that would fit perfectly into a negative prompt. There's also a tab down here for people and appearances. So you there's, you know, go to body types. There's different nouns that you can use. There's this beauty tab here for, you know, different adjectives and nouns. There's one specifically for skin. So you can, if you're getting kind of cartoonish looking skin and you want more realistic skin, add some, you know, blemish type uh, adjectives in here. So next time you're stuck, you know, searching for the words that you're going to add to a prompt, especially if you love really, really long prompts, go browse this website. You'll get come away with tons of ideas. All right. The last one is about VAEs. Now you don't have to know what VAEs are. Just know that they're quite necessary in terms of getting an image that looks good, 
especially if you're getting images that look like very washed out and don't have the same color vibrance as other images you're seeing online, most likely it is related to uh, not having a VAE or using the wrong VAE. So this setting is kind of hidden by default in Stable Diffusion in the settings, um, but you can add it up here to the top right next to checkpoints. So you can always choose one or at least know which one is, is being used. So to view that, just go to settings, go to user interface, and in this box for quick settings list, add SD underscore VAE, hit apply settings, reload the UI, and then you'll have this box here too. And that's it. I wanted to keep it short and sweet, but if you have a favorite tip that you like to use, leave it in the comments below and maybe I'll feature it in the next video. The last thing I want to say is just thank you for the support on the channel. Um, I really want to make these videos just as like sort of dense and just straight to the point as possible. Um, and I hope you all are enjoying that style that I'm going for. I'll probably branch out into other types of content uh, at some point, but until then, thanks for watching.